For many adopted kids in Florida, there's curiosity and sometimes a need to connect with their birth parents. Yeah, but Florida law makes it difficult, if not almost impossible, for an adoptee to gain access to his or her original birth certificate. One Florida lawmaker, fueled partly by his own personal story, is now trying to make it easier. Representative Richard Stark considers himself lucky. And when I was in my 30s, as an adult adoptee, I want to find out who my original family was. Despite his court records being sealed at the time of his adoption, Stark was able to find his birth parents even in the pre-internet 1980s. The South Florida lawmaker thinks the time has come for states to relax the rules and make it easier for adults to find their birth parents. If I want to get a copy of my birth records, lots of luck. I can't. After the finalization of the adoption, the original birth certificate is sealed in the file and an amended birth certificate is issued with the child and the adoptive parents, just as though the child was lawfully born to the adoptive family. Orlando attorney Nicole Moore is a Florida Bar certified adoption lawyer and member of the Florida Adoption Council. I do think that the climate of adoption has changed over the years, and I do think that there is an increasing need for adult adoptees to gain information. According to the Donaldson Adoption Institute, Florida finds itself in the minority as one of 21 states, along with the District of Columbia, that won't provide access for adoptees to obtain their original birth certificates without an order from a judge. There's a movement nationwide by adoptees like me to change the law in the various states. Stark is leading that movement here in the Sunshine State with the introduction of HB 257, legislation to allow adoptees after they turn 18 to request the original copies of their birth certificates. Now I was lucky enough to find, you know, my birth family. A lot of people cannot. Though well-intentioned, Moore believes Stark's bill needs to take into account not only the wishes of the adoptees, but also the implied privacy of the birth parents. The biggest issue that I have with the bill is that it's retroactive, and I think that that opens up huge concerns for privacy violations of women who have placed um, under the assurance that their last name and their um, choice to place. Um, their entire adoption would remain confidential. So we have to look at the rights of everybody involved and we have to balance those rights of the, of the placing parents and the adoptive parents. And Representative Stark's bill probably will not make it out of committee this year, but he thinks with some tweaks and rewording, it will have a better shot next year. We have more videos on the differences between closed and open adoptions, as well as a link to the Florida Adoption Reunion Registry on our website, clickorlando.com, powered by News 6. It would be nice if adopted kids could get the medical records if they had some that sort of genetic... That they actually can get. That no, they is, can. Yeah, that information is available, but the birth certificate, which includes names and personal identifying they actually information. want to meet the parents. Right. That is what's kept secret. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm learning new things mm -hmm. as well. Chief